Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to perform a linear fitting on a set of data using Origin Pro 9. So for this tutorial, I'm using Origin Pro 9. However, this functionality has been there in Origin for quite some time now. So you can uh, use this tutorial to help you out even if you have a previous version of Origin or any different newer version because I think the procedure will remain uh, approximately the same. So you can follow this tutorial regardless of the Origin version you have. So let's say you have some data on which you would like to perform linear fit. So I have that here in, in an Excel file. So just go ahead and select it and copy it. Then switch over to origin and then select this worksheet and click on the first column and then just click on control plus V or just right click and paste the data. So you can do either way. So you will have all this data right here. So then you can just go ahead and select these two columns and then right click on these, plot these using a simple scatter plot so this would show you a nice little scatter plot for your data then just go ahead and analysis and then select fitting and go to linear fit and open the dialog so this would basically pop up a small uh, window asking you to select some of the uh, to make some changes to the settings or select some range on which you would like to perform the linear fit however for uh, for the sake of this tutorial, let's just uh, see what happens if you just go ahead and click on OK without uh, you know changing any of these quantities or making any changes here. So currently, it has selected all the data that you had, so it will perform a linear fit on all the data that you had. And let's just go ahead and click on OK. So when you click on OK, what you can see is that um, you have a nice little report showing you the uh, various aspects of the linear fitting that uh, origin has done so basically the slope comes out at about 0.99485 and the intercept is 0.55 so slope basically is uh, for a line equation given by y is equal to mx plus c slope would be m and intercept would be c and if you compare the result with the excel uh, result that we got here so let me just arrange these window a little bit and then just show you the results so we got pretty similar results using excel and origin so we got 0.9948x plus 0.5573 so that is basically pretty much similar and then you also have the um, residual sum of squares you have the number of points degrees of free freedom because um, there are two constraints so therefore the m and c therefore the degree of freedom would be eight and then there is the adjusted r square value so there's everything that you would like to know about linear fit and then there is also a fitted curve plot showing you the data as well as the um, fitted curve so basically this is all you would probably need in your um, practical use however now what we can do next is we can uh, come back to a graph that we plot and you can notice that there is also a small uh, data um, table that origin has provided you with so you can just put it on the side now till uh, in this way what we have done is we have performed the linear fit on the whole data but what if you want to perform the linear fit only on a smaller subset of the data so then what you can do is you can basically uh, beforehand you can just select the data using the regional data selector and maybe let's say we will select these three points in the middle so just go ahead and select those like this so now you can see that these three points have been selected and then click on analysis, fitting, linear fit, open dialog. So this time what you would notice is that the range of the second column has been reduced. So now it is only considering the fifth, sixth and the seventh data point for the linear fitting. So now you can just go ahead and click on OK. And again you would have a different plot for the fitted. Um, for the three data points. So this time the equation would be drastically different. The intercept and slope values are different and this time if you look here then you will see there are only three data points used for the linear fit. And then coming back to the graph uh, again you have a nice little table showing the data and then you have another line showing the linear fit. So you can even change the color of that and then just increase the width to 
Okay, so now the two data points or the two fitted curves can be distinguished easily. So that's how you would go about performing a linear fit and then there is also a bunch of other options here um, in the dialog box that you can use to perform a fit according to your needs. So um, there is an option to fix the intercept and you can choose where you would like to fix the intercept. This is pretty basic in most of the softwares. And then there's another option to fix the slope which is not really found in a lot of softwares. So you can e e do either of these and then there are other options too that I will not be going into because I don't think there is a lot of need to tweak or play with these however you can do or uh, you know play with these to perform a linear fitting according to your needs and then there are options to select which kind of residual analysis you would need there are output settings how would you like to arrange the graphs and whatever so there's a lot of stuff here there's an also there's also an option that asks you if you want to plot the fitted curve or not so you can uncheck that if you don't want to see the plot and only want the equations and then there are further settings on how that fitted curve should be plotted and then there are a few more settings on find x or y and stuff like that so that's it I guess so that's how you perform a linear fit using origin pro 9 or any other version of origin should probably have this feature in a similar manner so that's how you would do that I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and in case you did then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I also have videos showing how to perform a polynomial fit or some other kind of fit using origin and a lot of other useful stuff. So I hope you guys uh, like this video and don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and also the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day.